at the back of my garden I have a big huge bush and it gets covered in millions of these little flowers but when they start going off and they're going all brown the way it is here that tells me it's time to go fishing for sea trout at night in the dark so tonight is going to be my first night going sea trout fishing and I'd like to show you a few little tips that I have for using maggots at night in the dark. First tip is looking after your bait. You go to the tackle shop and you buy maggots. And you get a load of maggots for five euros. You get a pint of maggots. And here we are. This is a pint of maggots. The container they come in isn't good enough to keep the maggots in. And the maggots are out of a fridge and they're very cold. As you can see, they're hardly moving. And what I do is, I put them into a container like this. And we close this container up. And then I have small containers. And I put maggots into them. And all these containers have little air holes for the maggots to breathe. And if you leave a container like that in the boot of your car on a hot day, they won't even last. 24 hours and they'll all go into little brown casters and that's the end of your maggots. So what you do with your maggots is You get bottles of ice like this a big big bottle of pure solid ice And you put it into your freezer bag like that One 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 bottle's enough and you put your maggots in on top of the free the, the big block of ice and It's not cold enough to kill them. It just really really makes them cold and it slows down their metabolism and they'll last in there for a couple of weeks. So each night you're going fishing, you open up your bag, you take out this container, and when it's running low, you open up the other container and you refill this up. But you keep them nice and cold. You keep, keep them well wrapped up. And in the boot of the car, in the hottest day in the boot of the car, they're, they're in there next to the big bottle of ice. And they'll last, as I say, for weeks. But you don't forget to change the bottle of ice. You must have a couple of other bottles in the freezer. And at least every second day, I usually do it once a day, but every second day is fine. Every second day you have to change the bottle. Take one out and start the thaw out and put in a fresh one. And by doing that, you're looking after your maggots. That's your maggots. If you're going to be doing a lot of fishing at night with maggots, this is one of the very best tips that I can give you if you're going to be doing a lot of fishing. Get a container this size, totally filled with fresh maggots, and put it into the freezer. And just forget about it. Forget about it. For five euros, the big container you get to fill this up, it will cost you about a euro. So it's about a euro of maggots. And I'm sure a maggot would prefer to die slowly freezing to death than a hook, a hook getting stuck in, in him. <laughs> but anyway... You get a container like this and you put it in the freezer and you just forget about it. And it always happens every year. Sometimes the fishing's excellent, the fishing's brilliant, and everyone's out fishing, everyone's catching the fish. And you go down the river and there's a half a dozen fellas and they're all in the one spot and there's cigarette lighters everywhere. And it's like bloody like Patrick Street. <laughs> but then the night comes, you're pals and you have any maggots, the tackle shops are done, they've none, and no one has maggots. And sometimes it happens in the middle of the summer, especially always when the fishing's at its best. They run out of maggots. No one has maggots. But you have one of these in the freezer. Now, anglers don't know this. And I've never met any angler ever on the bank of the river that does this. This is just one of my little tricks. You go to your container when no one has maggots, but you have. You open up the container and it's filled with maggots. And it's a little block of frozen maggots. And just crunch a part of them off. Just enough that you know will do you for the night and keep the rest frozen and put them back into the into the freezer and a little bit that you're after breaking off a little money bag would do you a small little money bag or a little little bit of plastic or anything and bring them down to the river when you touch them they thaw out instantly in your finger and they're dead and when you put them on the hook they're the exact same as live maggots because when you think of it when live maggots go into the water you kind of think in your head oh they're wriggling away and the fish see the little wriggling maggot that's why they take it that doesn't happen the maggots go into the water and they close up and they're hardly wriggling at all especially if the water is a little bit nippy they're just like dead maggots they're just sitting on the hook 
So when you put the dead maggots on the hook, they fish perfectly, as good as live maggots, and you have your frozen maggots, and often I was down there at night in the river catching lots of fish, and no one had maggots, and I'd have the place to myself, and... It's the best tip I can give you for a fellow who's serious about maggot fishing. Always put a container into the freezer and then you're never caught out with having no maggots. But don't bring the whole container with you for the night. Because what happens is if you bring the whole container with you for the night and then when you go home and you put them back in the freezer, they actually start going brown and they're no good then. So you must leave them, take a small little amount out, they're lovely and white, they're perfect for the night. And then the next night you're going to break them a little bit. And don't bring them home. Just throw them away when you're finished with them. And a little container like that will do you for a whole week's fishing every single night. And if you want to put two of them in the freezer, that's the best tip I can give you to do with maggots. Literally taking the cobwebs off my rod. It's been sitting out in the shed since last year. The rod I'm using is an old rod. I have it a long time. And I always buy the cheapest line you can get. You're fishing in snaggy oil areas where there's oil trees and bushes and things. And you don't want to be bringing your best of gear down there. So this here is a line I bought in Murray's. It's a floating line and it's white. And I like the white line because sometimes if it's not too dark, you can actually see it on the surface. And you can see it starting to move when a fish takes. So I like the white line. And it's only 10 euros is all it costs. It's very cheap. And I have this on the reed. I suppose I have it about two or three years. And it's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. Fishing line. What line are we going to use? Fluorocarbons are fantastic out in the lake fishing. Absolutely fantastic. But they're not good for fishing at night. For sea trout with talamaggots. And the reason why is these fluorocarbon lines, they sink very quickly. And out in the lake, fishing tree flies, they're perfect. But when you're fishing with maggots, you want your bait as close to the surface as possible. And I find over all the years that I'm fishing, the drenning subsurface, I find that the absolute best line. And it comes in different breaking strains. This is very good as well. The frog hair. Frog hair is excellent. And it comes in lots of breaking strains. And it's very, very strong. It's very, very thin. But it's very expensive. So the frog hair is excellent. But I usually stick with the subsurface green. I find that line absolutely perfect. Usually I use it in 10 pound breaking strain. I have 10 somewhere there and I'll be using 10 pound breaking strain tonight. 10 pound breaking strain, I'll be using this tonight. And you need 10 because you can hit very, very big fish at night. Now, down to the hooks. I've tried hundreds of different types of hooks over all the years. And the best hooks that I've found and that I only use now are these hooks. The specimen eyed. And I prefer the size 10. That's the perfect hook for me. But... Sometimes, which I will explain in a minute, sometimes I have to go to a size 12. It's very seldom it happens, but it does happen sometimes. And I'll explain why in a minute that I go to a size 12. But it's usually the size 10. I find the perfect hook. This is the end of my fly line. And about 12 inches I got. And I have my hook. And when I'm fishing at night, I never ever go less than using two maggots. Because if you're only one on and you flicked it out into the current and if it fell off, you don't realise that you're standing and you've no bait on you. You're not going to catch a fish. So the chances of two of them flicking off are very slim. So the least amount of maggots I ever have on my hook is two. That's the very least. Now what happens is you go down to the river and you're fishing. And sometimes you'll have two maggots on and you're catching nothing. And you put, might put three or four maggots on. And you still might catch nothing. And you put maybe five or six maggots on. And bang, bang, you're getting them. The fish are at that level. The bait's coming perfect to them. And it could last for ten minutes or a half an hour. And you could be getting them all the time. And your friends are, he says, how many are you getting them on? And getting them on six. And then he's getting them on six. And then after a period of time... You, you stop getting pulls and you're going, where are they gone? And then you might try two maggots. And you might try ten maggots. And then you might try four maggots. And then your pal goes, I got one. What did you get them on? I, I had four maggots on. And then you put four maggots on. And believe it or not, the fish are going up and down during the day to do with temperatures changing. And they're moving slightly. And sometimes they won't move to grab the bait. Sometimes it has to come perfectly to, to their mouth for them to take it. So you're chomping and changing. And once you find the correct amount of maggots, you're catching them. And after a while, if, if, if the bites stop and you're not getting any, 
it's time to try a couple of different maggots and keep trying. And that's why I've talked about the size 12 hook. On some occasions, I've tried different loads of different maggots. Two maggots, six maggots, eight maggots, ten maggots, five maggots. And then I'd say maybe they're really near the surface. And I've got my fishing line. I've cut it shorter again. And then I actually take off the size 10 hook, believe it or not. And I put on a size 12. That little little bit of extra lightness from the change of the size of the hook from a size 10 down to 12 and then then it's the one time i may put one maggot on and you'd flick it and bang you're getting them straight away again because they're so near the surface they're not willing to move down an inch to take them so you're constantly changing and chopping trying different maggots another little tip is you buy these in the fish and tackle shop they're called hook discargers this is plastic it's very bendable it's just a bit of plastic and it's fantastic for getting the hook out when the fish take the maggots sometimes they swallow the maggots and if you want to let the fish go you want to get the hook out as quickly as possible and to do as little damage to the fish as possible and these are brilliant now when i first saw a metal one i was all excited i thought oh this will last me forever and i bought a metal one it's like hard aluminium and that's a mistake. These are no good. Don't, buy, don't bother buying one of these. Only get a plastic one. These are just so hard. They actually, after getting two or three fish caught and you've used this to get out the hook, the metal on the fish and pushing it in and getting the hook out, it actually damages the line and damages the knot and they're no good. I have that in my bag, but it's no good. I'll never ever use it. It's the little cheap little plastic ones are the best ones and they don't damage your line.